Hey guys, in part one of our coral care series, we'll be talking about how to properly care for your corals when you first bring them home. Even though most fish stores have advanced filtration systems and treat their fish and corals chemically, they have such a high volume of livestock coming in and going out, sometimes you may have the misfortune of taking a nasty hitchhiker home with you on your corals or live rock. This is why dipping your new corals or live rock is so important and it's the best way to deal with marine flatworms as it prevents their introduction. So today we'll be dipping our new corals with Coral RX. The cool thing is it has all natural ingredients, contains no iodine, nor does it contain oxidizers, which are toxic. It can be used to treat LPS, SPS, or soft corals. Okay, let's get started. First, you'll want to shake your bottle of Coral RX. Here's the dosage per gallon of water. Be sure to mix well. Now for the next step, you have two options. The first option is to place your coral in the coral dip and use a small power head to keep the water moving. If you don't have a small power head, you can gently shake the coral in the coral dip. You'll want to keep the coral in the coral dip for 5 to 10 minutes. After the time is up, remove the coral and discard the coral dip. You do not want to reuse the coral dip as parasites that have fallen off the corals may have released toxins. The last step is to rinse your coral with clean salt water and return it to the aquarium. If you would like to learn more about Coral RX, visit the link in the description or go to saltysupply.com.